Everything changed when they came up with that expression, the war on drugs. With the war comes police militarization, the complete gutting of the Fourth Amendment. There's all this money to be made, and I'm somehow supposed to be playing by the book? I don't see a light when I lose control. So these cops caught lying, and with their abusive behavior, remained on the street. They did. If it is the feds who are on this, the case could go on for years. What case? Senor Pablo Escobar is the police. I love We Own the City. I just, this city, it's just fantastic. And I wonder if you had uh, some thoughts on that series, because you were fantastic in it. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Well, you know, David Simon, Nina Noble, George Pelicanos, Ed Burns, and our amazing director, Renato Marcus Green, they just don't miss, you know, they did not miss with that. And that, that conversation and that heavy story this taking from, you know, Justin Fenton's book, We Own This City, about, you know, the rise and the fall of the Baltimore Police Department's Gun Trace Task Force needed to be a conversation that needed to be had. It comes from true events. And when you think about a police officer who's supposed to be protecting the community, who's, who's supposed to be treating people with respect and solving crimes, it these guys are doing a total opposite. And it makes you look at it like, wow, they really got away with it that long. My character, Gordon Hulk, um, I'm playing a police officer 20 years later after the wire 20 years ago. Now I'm a police officer 20 years later. You know, I'm like the assistant to David McDougal, my partner. And our job working with the Hartford County uh, Narcotics Task Force is to solve all the drug overdose cases or at least, you know, dig into them and want to know more about it so we can gather the information to, 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 to take care of it. And um, man, just to play that character saying that my character was one of the the people that kind of like set the probe in motion for the gun trace task force you know to be exposed to start being exposed was was definitely a, a great great role for me and I had I had a lot of fun man so many people who are wire fans they think it's the wire season six but it's not <laughs> it's not did but you yeah. shadow some real cops for that role yeah, I got to give it up to my brother, Dre Severino. And um, he was right on set with me the whole entire time. The whole two and a half, three months I was filming. I mean, even from how they wear their badge, where they wear the gun, how they, you know, the, the equipment, the police equipment that I had on. How they enter a room. I mean, there's so much detail, isn't there? The movements. Like, it was just... Even when they see me slide under the truck and put the tracker, that was choreographed, rehearsed, the way that they do it. And of course, my back was hurting for like a week after that. But <laughs> bang, that's, and, this and is who who could not want to follow John Bernthal? I mean, he is just one of my favorites. I mean, he's just a natural born leader. That man's explosive when he's on screen, isn't he? Oh my God, he's amazing. And I always tell John. I'm watching it. I'm like, I'm watching you, brother. You are amazing as an actor, as an artist. And I'm just studying the man because he's just, he's incredible. And off screen, he's just an amazing human being. Like this guy doesn't, you, you think you, you've been knowing him for like years and years. Like he's a family member, you know, he, he's just a nice guy. And I'm like, you know, I'm just, it's an honor and a privilege for me to just even be around him, you know? Well, man, congratulations. Uh, you're, you're on fire right now. And uh, uh, just thanks for your time today, man. I really enjoyed it. Let's talk again soon. Jeff, thank you, man. I can't wait till this comes out. All right, man. Take care. We'll talk again soon. Thanks, bro.